We are going to move right into our closing game. This is something of a tradition. Uh, we just do this for fun. That's the whole reason we do it. Uh, everyone, as they walked in, they should have gotten a red paper and a green paper. Uh, and uh, if not, go grab one now. Um, so just before we get to the actual game, there are a couple little housekeeping things. We really need to say a thank you uh, to our sponsors. Appreciate Intel, ResNIO, and the other sponsors. The program committee is a hardworking group. Uh, some of them are coming up on stage now. The speakers, there's a lot of work that goes into these presentations. Actually, I want to thank you as attendees. Uh, without uh, all of us collectively, we couldn't have this. And, and especially, especially a big round of applause for the Linux Foundation staff. So. They, they are excellent. Uh, the, the amount of stuff that they have to deal with uh, behind the scenes is just uh, amazing. So uh, as I said, the presentation page is already online. Literally an hour before my keynote, I was able to, I already had an elinux.org account, mind you, but it was only like five mouse clicks to get my PDF uploaded because all of the templates are already there. You just have to click on the little ring, red PDF link and it'll ask you to upload your files. So this is super, super easy. But make sure you also submit such slides to the CFP site. So we want both the Linux Foundation to have your slides, and we want them on that site as well. We have made... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the CFP site. This happens every year. I've done it twice myself. You, you, uh, you, you upload your slides, and there's a little save button at the bottom. You can't just walk away from the page. If you don't hit the save button, the slides don't go up. Um, and we made recordings of everything. So uh, hopefully, uh, it's usually two to three weeks to get them processed, but uh, we'll announce when those are made available for everyone. So I know it's like a three-ring circus or a seven-ring circus, depending on how you look at it. But, uh, so I'm sure that you missed a session that you were interested in, but we, one of the reasons we record that is uh, so that you can make sure you catch all of the content you want. Um, upcoming events, Embedded Linux Conference 2017 is in February, which is pretty soon in Portland, Oregon. The CFP is already open. And Embedded Linux Conference Europe, I'm very happy to announce, will be in Prague in the Czech Republic. Very, very likely but you might want to hold off make, booking your flights until, <laughs> until we actually have it on the website. Uh, but it's very, very likely the 23rd through the 25th. And it'll be co-located with LinuxCon Europe. So we, um, I won't even go into all the reasons. OK, so very first item of business. Uh, I asked in the keynote if people would come give me test stories so that I could learn about their test situations. These eight people did. If you're here, stand up and come to the stage immediately because I have some hot tamales to give you. Uh, so uh, what happened is people either came to the booth or talked to me during the technical showcase. And I'm trying to learn as much as I can about how different people are testing uh, their software, what types of things they're interested in. And from each of these people, I got an interesting perspective. And so I'm going to give them some hot tamales. There you go. Uh, Oh, there's only three of you? Oh, OK. Well, there you go. The Linux event staff told me that they, thanks, thanks to all of you. Oh. It's kind of sad for these other people, but the Linux event staff did tell me that they really love hot tamales, so it's not a total waste. Um, OK, so uh, OK, with that out of the way, we're going to play some games. Uh, and. <laughs> I like games where everyone has a chance to win. We used to do these games where we'd only bring up like four people on stage. And those are fun. Those are fun to watch. But it's even more fun if you can possibly win something yourself. So uh, what's at stake? Uh, we'll go through those. We have a bunch of development boards. Uh, Resin I.O. enabled Raspberry Pi 3 barometric station. OK, that was a mouthful. An Intel Jewel kit. Uh, we have some Galileo boards, uh, an Altera board. Some Microsoft IoT Workshop. This is, I believe, the first time I've given out a Microsoft prize at my event. Uh, so that's good. Um, we have some Sony uh, Bluetooth headphones, uh, Sony debug board, uh, a, little, a little prize, a mobile projector, laser, auto, key, keystone uh, projector. 
That's a pretty nice one. Okay. Um, we have a book by Chris Simmons. Chris, are you here? Yep, there he is. Mastering Embedded, oh, it's Mastering Embedded Linux Programming. I left out the programming. Right there. If you, if you win one of these books, uh, uh, well, if Chris wins, I'm sure he'll give it to someone else. But uh, <laughs> if you win one of these books, make sure you go get a signature. This is your opportunity to, to get something signed by the master. And then we have a $200, $250 Amazon gift card. Um, so our first game. We've done this before, so this is not a huge surprise. And in fact, there is a little bit of an advantage if you've been at ELC before. There's one or two questions that we kind of sneak in from previous events. Most of these are new, but not all of them. So you have a little bit of an edge. Sorry, it's just the way things are. We're going to, oh, I, I forget, this game is not fair. Uh, <laughs> uh, how to play, we're going to have everyone stand up. Uh, we will have questions that will have either a red answer or a green answer. Uh, we'll ask the question, you'll indicate your answer with one of the other papers, and make sure you continue to hold that up. We have referees on stage who will watch you to monitor your honesty. Uh, and then if you're wrong, we'll reveal the answer. If you're wrong, you sit down. We keep winnowing through the audience until, uh, until there's few enough people that we can actually do the prize draw up here. Um, and then we're going to repeat until there's, it's no fun anymore with that being <laughs> defined as there's no more prizes. You know, it's like, okay, I'm done. Uh, so question number nine, everybody up. <laughs> Let's see how savvy you are about the solar system. Okay. Oh, that is a very, oh, see, hmm. Yes, would Tim actually include dwarf planets? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, for this one, I said eight. Sorry, Pluto's not a pre uh, planet. There was actually a dwarf planet discovered this week, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, sorry if you held up red and thought I was trying to trick you. I really wasn't. Um, okay, Zephyr can be configured to run in as little as 8K or 40K. Well, since the panel said it, <laughs> one would think you would know the answer, and the answer is 8K. Okay, well, we may have a problem. I don't have 500 prizes. Uh, AKPM is a power management algorithm or a kernel developer? Hmm. Okay, this one's doing better at filtering out. This is, of course, Andrew Morton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, trust me, it gets harder. That was just to lull you into a false sense of security. Okay, in 2015, were there more than twice as many CVEs reported than in 2010? True or false? Okay. Ah, uh, that's sad. <laughs> 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 All right, check it out. <laughs> that was a brutal question. Sometimes it pays to be a contrarian. Um, we're going we're gonna to do one, at least one more. Okay, the Acorn BBC Model B was highly successful, selling over 1 million units. Did Apple sell more or less Apple II series computers than this? Green for more, red for less. Okay, is everyone still in, got their, okay, it is actually way more. Okay, what are we down to? Five, okay, we're gonna do one more. I know, it's for those of you who are in it, you're going, oh, come on, just take them <laughs> up. Linux has been run in a light bulb. Okay, yes, oops. Yep, there were talks last year about this. So we only lost one. What are we, what are we at? Still five, uh, I count, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Okay, last one. The youngest person to have a patch accepted in the Linux kernel was younger or older than seven years old? Okay, believe it or not, it was a four-year-old. 
Okay, so those people still standing, I see four of you. Come on up to the stage. Oh, by the way, yeah. While they're coming up, we can comment on this patch. It's actually pretty adorable. Uh, this guy's daughter noticed that in the kernel documentation, one of the uh, headings was missing a, a, a line under things. Oh, that makes the S sad. <laughs> so uh, she helped her dad fix it. Okay, so uh, go ahead and. <laughs> 16. Okay. Oh, six. Oh, one of the Microsoft developer kids. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, take that off. Okay, go ahead. Eleven. Oh, this is the Resin IO Raspberry Pi barometer kit. Thirteen. Oh, one of these books. See Chris Simmons afterwards. <laughs> Three. Oh, Sony debug board. If you don't know what to do with it, contact me. Send me an email. <laughs> it's awesome. Trust me. Okay. Okay, everybody back up. There are more prizes, and if you were paying attention, there are still some good ones left. <laughs> Okay, Machine Q is an upcoming Internet of Things service. Hmm. Yeah, Comcast announced this just this month. <laughs> I should not take uh, I should not take great joy in that, but it's kind of fun. Um, Atmel recently acquired Microchip. True or false? You have to pay attention sometimes because it was actually Microchip that acquired Atmel. <laughs> okay. Okay. I had to throw this one in. By the year 2070, over $4 billion will be spent rescuing Matt Damon from various sci fi missions. True or false? See, you cannot possibly predict what I was thinking, and it just is based on what I was thinking. I told you the game was not fair. The actor actually is true. I, my estimate is that getting him off of Mars and getting him off of some planet uh, that you can only access by going through a wormhole is pretty expensive. Uh, <laughs> okay. According to Greg Carl Hartman, how many lines of code does Qualcomm have out of the main line for their SOC? So is, are there any Qualcomm people still up? <laughs> they have an unfair advantage on this question. OK. Actually, he said it used to be 2.5, but it's currently 1.5. OK. Let's see. Which country on this list was the first to have ELC Europe more than once? You notice that I've switched from a binary system to a trinary system. <laughs> well, actually, it's just two bits, but uh, OK. So this, is, this requires the referees look carefully to make sure. OK, it turns out this is the very first one. This is the very first uh, repeat of a country. How are we doing? How many people do we have left? One. OK, well, yeah, we still have a lot. Notice <laughs> I couldn't find a modern map of Europe. Uh, <laughs> So I apologize if I have offended your national sensibilities. Uh, <laughs> um, OK, 2000 Haas School of Business study counted the number of people who sent at least one email to LKML. Did they find more or less than 12,000 between 1995 and 2000? Yeah, this is kind of a coin toss. I don't know how you'd be expected to know this. OK. Everybody locked in their answer? It's actually more than 12,000. 14,500. OK. I think we need to do one more, unfortunately. Nintendo was founded before or after the year 1910. <laughs> this is like, you have played the console. Why do you not know this? Uh, 
Okay, commit to an answer. Commit to an answer. Okay. The answer is before they were a trading card company. Wow, we still have we still have people hanging on. Okay, what are we at? How many, uh, Frank, how many prizes do we have left in this round? Five. And what are we at? We have five standing. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Is that five? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't I still I only count five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah. Well six? Okay. Okay. One extra. Okay. Well, now we're going to go under five, so I don't know. Okay. What is the job of Linus Torvald's father? Is he a member of the European Parliament or a university professor? <laughs> See, I knew this was going to knock out too many people. He's a member of Parliament. I think we only have two left. <laughs> okay, come on up and get your... What? <laughs> Okay, you guys come up and get your prize. Yay! Okay, what number was I on here? 15, okay. I gotta not run out of que questions, that would be bad. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time, so, oh well, we gotta get their prizes, sorry. <laughs> What? All right. There you go. Sure. Yeah. 16. Oh. The jewel system. So contact the event staff, and they'll tell you how to get that. OK. 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 Everybody back up. One last round. <clears throat> See, I made too many easy questions. I'm burning through my questions like crazy. Uh, last year, we, we uh, at ELC uh, in April, we only got through 13 total questions. We're already past that. Um, okay, what is the average airspeed velocity <laughs> of an unladen swallow? <laughs> this is really important, and you got to know the right answer, or you will fall into the, I don't know what it is, the chasm of eternal peril or something like that. Um, Actually, I'm going to give you that one. I will take either answer. <laughs> so nobody has to sit down. Um, if you want to trick the big bridge keeper, you have to give him a respond with a question. OK, an instance of Linux is currently running on the planet Mars. And. Uh, this is a surprising because the answer is false. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, you know what's up there on those on those rovers is VXWorks. It's mostly VXWorks. Um, it's it's in a lot of other space applications and bless Space SpaceX's heart. It's on their rockets, which are totally cool. Um, here's a legal question for you. Is it legally OK to ship a proprietary executable statically linked with an LGPL library? Is that OK or wrong, wrong, wrong? And the answer, surprisingly, is it is OK. But there is a condition. Uh, you have to make a facility that allows someone to replace the library. For a statically linked library, that's actually a fairly difficult condition to meet, right? But it is possible if you give a build system and stuff. You have to be able to reverse engineer the binary. Well, yes, that's true. Thank you, Bradley, for <laughs> <laughs> OK. Punch cards were kind of like printer ink. Uh, IBM actually, well, you can see that they made a good percentage of their uh, profit. So was it greater or less than 25% of their profits? It was greater. OK. 
Okay. Linus Torvalds has been bitten by a penguin. <laughs> why, why, why would he choose Tux as a mascot when he actually has been bitten by a penguin? <laughs> okay. Okay, who said this immortal quote? Well, you don't get to be a kernel hacker simply by looking good in Speedos. <laughs> okay, the ever quotable Rusty Russell. Okay, so oh, actually most people are still up, yeah. He's got some of the greatest lines in kernel history. Um, First computer mouse, was it built before or after 1975? Wow, okay, only one person, sorry. <laughs> 64, and it was built out of California Redwood. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I'm actually about ready to run out of questions. This is... <laughs> Will ELC North America be held in Hawaii? <laughs> I have been trying for years to get them to put it in Hawaii, and they just won't do it. Uh, actually, we did a survey of uh, attendees, and everybody said, no, my boss is not going to let me go to Hawaii. <laughs> okay, maximum number of devices on a USB network. One twenty seven. Okay. Wow. Okay. Modern IBM punch card has eighty columns. Did the previous version have more or less than that? <laughs> oh, more or less than sixty columns. Sorry, I guess it was less. <laughs> if you answered my question, it would definitely be red. Is it more or less than sixty? Okay. Less forty five. Okay, if you're green. Okay, how are we doing? One, two, three. We at five? Seven. Seven. Oh, I, I can't count. I'm going to blame it on the light. Um, ButterFS is a copy on write file system. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fool anyone with my language. It's copy on write with a W. <laughs> Sorry to test your English skills there. Um, Okay, did I present at the very, on the very first track of the very first ELC? Okay. No, I did not. I actually, I spoke, but not on the very first track. Yeah, I know. I told you there were some repeats. Okay, ARM processors were released in what year? 85 or 87? <laughs> okay. 85. Okay, are we down to four? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Frank is going to take one of the numbers from his pocket and throw it in the thing. You guys come up and get a prize. <laughs> Yay. Oh, hey. That was a really long one. Well, those repeat questions, people are, uh, I got to not do that next year. Seven. Seven. All right. It rewards, those that keep coming. it rewards those who keep coming. That's the idea. One. One. Oh, hey. This is uh, a dragon board. The Octo Project. Yeah. Okay. Five. Ooh. Bluetooth headset? <laughs> 12. 12. Oh, the other book. All right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now let's switch gears. Can we, uh, can we fast forward? Don't look at the next couple things. Actually, can we turn it off for just a sec? And can you move it to the next game? I got to save some of my things. Okay. 
So we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. And you know I've done this before. Lizard Spock. Um, in, in honor of Leonard Nimoy, who's uh, adored by many fans, it's a very simple game. Uh, just memorize this chart real quick. Uh, and uh, these are the rules. The rule is you have to beat the presenter. Okay, you can't tie the presenter, you have to beat the presenter. Uh, which means, do the math, that means that three-fifths of you are losing every round. This goes really quick. Um, so, these are the hand signs. So, this is going to be another stand-up game and we go through the audience. This is rock, this is paper, scissors. Do not get that confused with live long and prosper or lizard. Try to do the lizard sideways, because that's more dramatic. Um, so, everyone up? <laughs> Didn't realize you were going to get such a workout. If you've got a Fitbit, you can be counting your steps right now. Okay. <clears throat> and no, this is not a practice. Oh, should I do a practice round? Oh, okay. So, one thing I've learned just now, never ask the audience an ambiguous question. <laughs> Let, I will declare this one a practice round. This is a practice round. So if you miss it, this is just to get used to, you know, the hand signs and all that. Okay, ready, set, do your hand sign. Okay, the presenter is paper. So if you have either uh, lizard or scissors, stay in the game. Actually, no, everybody stays in the game. Okay, that was, what kind of a practice is that where you don't actually do the... Uh, <laughs> okay, ready, set. Throw. Okay. <laughs> For the last three years, I've done a repeat on the first one. So that knocked out a bunch of you who are memorizing my hand signs. <laughs> uh, okay. Those of you still in the game, ready, set, throw. Presenter is scissors. <laughs> Stay in the game if you are live long and if you are Spock or Rock. Okay. Okay. Ready, set, throw. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready. We're gonna accelerate things here. <clears throat> uh, ready, set, throw. This is a brutal game. <laughs> uh, I think we have to do it one more time. Ready, set, throw. OK, how many do we have left? Six, come on up. <laughs> uh. You have seven? OK. OK, this is going to be tricky. What number? The magic OK. Be printed. Yeah. OK, the Amazon gift card, take that to the registration desk, and they will help you. <laughs> that was the $250 Amazon gift card, so. <clears throat> Two. Ah, the Atlas SOC, FPGA board. All right. Okay. 15. Galileo, Intel Galileo. All right. 14, the other Galileo. Oh. Nine, Microsoft Azure Kit. You got all of them, right? Wait, how is that even possible? <laughs> Thank you. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, okay. That was not planned. We still have the projector left, so it's worth it to hang around. <laughs> Okay, what? Oh, and we've got the hot tamales, which I, I'm afraid to say may have to be the consolation prize if we end up, because once we get down to five or so, if I run the game too far, right, we don't have enough. Okay. Okay, everybody back up. This is very likely the last round. Well, no, actually, it's not likely. It is the last round. Um, okay, ready, set, throw. Throw. 
All of you who are dreaming, what could I do with that projector? Oh. <laughs> okay. Ready, set, throw. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't laugh. I'm not. I'm not sorry. But I don't get a projector either. Uh, <laughs> Yes, it is a Sony, and it, okay, one of the things you must realize, uh, the big prize that Sony does every year, you know, the headphones are not running Linux to my knowledge, but we always donate a prize that's running Linux, and you can get the source code for this. If you want to rip it apart and <laughs> install a new kernel, uh, you can, but it's actually kind of more fun as a projector. Um, <laughs> okay, so ready, set, throw. Okay. Ready, set, throw. <laughs> so close, so close. You're thinking, I only got to go one more round. Okay, I think we're going to do probably one more round. Okay, ready, set, throw. Stay in the game with scissors. Okay, what are we at? We're at like five or so. We got to keep going. Six. Okay. Okay, now just a word of uh, if you lose this round, don't necessarily sit down. Wait to see if everyone gets eliminated. Because <laughs> that has happened. Uh, ready, set, throw. Well, that's a diverse group. That's good. Okay, what are we at? What are we down to? Down to three? Okay, you guys come up on stage. Okay, so if you lost earlier, it's actually a little bit more merciful to you. These guys are so close. <laughs> it's going to be really disappointing to go home with a hot box of hot tamales. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to just do this really primitively. Um, we're going to do it with uh, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no lizard Spock. Rock, paper, scissors between you three. Well, how do we do that? Can you do it with the three? I don't even know what I'm doing. This is what happens when you make up stuff on the fly. This is like testing Linux. Uh, <laughs> OK, you have to go against me. OK, so you three against me. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then throw, okay? So it's going to go one, two, three, throw. One, two, three, throw. Oh, I'm sorry, you get a box of hot tamales. <laughs> wait, 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 don't go anywhere. <laughs> Actually, I'll take these. I'm sorry, one of these has your other guy's name on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The pressure. One, oh wait, wait. One, two, three, throw. Oh, that's uncanny. <laughs> wait a minute. I forgot my tinfoil hat. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, throw. Oh, I'm very sorry. But there you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry if you didn't win something, uh, but uh, hopefully it was a little bit entertaining. Uh, I hope that you had a good time at the event. Uh, we, I, I was really pleased with the content. I think we had a lot of great talks. Again, the videos will be online. Hope to see you again in the future, and uh, have a good evening. <laughs>